Hello and welcome to Test Prep Card channel, my dear students and parents. Definitely, this video is going to be about one and only Indian Institute of Information Technology and Management (ABV). I triple I T M Gwalior, my dear. Yes, the name Gwalior itself is amazing, and the beauty of Gwalior is also amazing, my dear. So let me tell you something about the Institute of Information Technology and Management in Gwalior, Madhya Pradesh. is an autonomous institute set by government of india mhrd presently minister of education government of india in 1997 yes this is the particular year when gwalior has a particular feather in itself so test prep card yes i would like to tell you something about test prep card so start your prep with test prep card is definitely amazing right here you got you will here you will get each and every kind of information or you can say informative videos which definitely grace your education and try to and try itself a best amount of things to get yourself a better platform right okay so dear students and parents welcome again to test prep card channel yes and this particular video is going to be about the triple it m gwalior and we are going to cover these particular topics in this particular video the first thing is that is basic overview eligibility criteria and nri quota reservation for nris and indian st students required entrance exams course offered required cut off for indians and nris application process and the most important that is a scholarship so stay tuned with this particular video and don't go anywhere just hold your breath and have a particular your valuable time for this particular video and this video will never let you down and this video is going to be a very informative one so for achieving our objectives we follow a value based education system am i right or not yes that highlights on freedom of thought and expression human values and ethical practices excellence in learning and research creative an interactive teaching substantially livelihood and growth so these are the key facts actually which grace you which ace your career in your life yes i would like to tell you the programs which is offered by triple itm so btec admission what are the process each and everything i will tell you over here so admission to btec csc course intake total number of offered seat is 74 and the general information is that candidate must qualify jee -E, joint entrance examination mains and participate through centralized counseling held by josaa details about the dates can be obtained from joss sorry josaa website so if i talk about ipg admission admission to five year integrated post graduate course ipg the ipg mtech imt ipg mba that is i img intake imt 1196 seats are there in img 69 seats are there my dear my dear if i talk about the general information the eligibility criteria then the candidate must qualify joint entrance exam mains and participate through centralized counseling held by josaa right okay if i talk about mtech admission the most awaited actually and the loved one as well so admission to mtech course total number of seats is 60 admission to ccmt based on gate graduate aptitude test in engineering my dear score okay admission begin tentatively in june and gets completed by july so the session for the first semester begins in august actually right so the exact date is very actually just because of covid and all yes mba right master in business administration total number seats offered that is open actually admission based on cat cat course gd group discussion and interview gd and interview of shortlisted candidates begin in march admissions start and end in july the first is semester uh, session begins in july august my dear yes admission for phd admission for doctoral program admission to phd program is based on aptitude test subsequent counseling refer to academics section for eligibility criteria and fee structure 
application is online usually begins in may for july session and in november for january session so two sessions are there actually right yes let me tell you something about information for students admitted through dasa study in program india program direct admission of a student for dasa student from study in india program the admission to various ug and pg programs of premier institution of india under the dasa scheme will be coordinated by national institute of technology jaipur india for the year 21 22 yes for nra students we have prepared and nris ebook related to dasa ciwg quota kindly go and download this particular link from the description box my dear this is amazing yes let me tell you something about abv Triple I T M Gwalior. The fee structure is there for July, December, twenty twenty. So this is not a big difference in two thousand twenty one or twenty two as well. So tuition fees that is fifty eight thousand five hundred seventy five rupees. That is U G program. If I talk about I P G, that is fifty eight. That's again same. If I talk about P H D, that is twenty two thousand six hundred sixty rupees. M B A seventy three thousand two hundred. Sixty rupees. So this is the tuition fee, and this is the actual amount, actually, right? Okay. If I talk about A, B, and C, that is the total one. That is one lakh nine thousand three hundred twenty-five for UG program. For IPG, that is the same, actually. Yes. For P PhD, that is seventy-two thousand nine hundred ten. If we talk about MBA, that is one lakh twenty-four thousand ten. And including two two thousand five hundred security deposit as well. Okay, so online one time fee is actually varies actually, right? If I talk about IPG program, the total fee is including hostel development fees. If I go backward, library security deposit, institution security deposit, other cultural activities and sports and each and everything actually. That is. Nineteen thousand seven hundred fifty rupees, and for PSG that is twenty one thousand two hundred fifty rupees. Yes, the most awaited one that is a scholarship. So yeah, a particular pinch is there actually, just because the question it if arises in your mind that are there any financial aid for students? So the student does not provide financial assistance except the payment of stipend to students pursuing M Tech and doctoral study program. Students studying MBA are not entitled to stipend as well. So, candidate belonging to SC, ST, and OBC are exempt from tuition fee only. So, yes, these are it actually. And thanks for watching this fantastic uh, session, my dear. Or you can say this particular video. Like this particular video. Share this particular video to all your students, uh, family, friends, and all. Thank you. Bye bye, and take care.